I think what happens is you do all of these cars and you never get the chance to enjoy them because over summer you're going mad getting everything done because the days are good. Then comes winter, like, oh man, I don't want to take the car out. Toda mi benda, you know, it's raining, I'm not going to take it out. So for now, I'm just going to enjoy all my cars um, and let others enjoy them as well. I've kind of achieved what I wanted to kind of achieve on this and I think the colour, you know, wasn't sure if a car like this could pull this colour off because it's quite a new colour. But I think, you know, I haven't had anyone saying it doesn't pull the colour off. It'll be interesting in the comments to see what people actually think of this. But yeah, thumbs up from uh, all the people I've seen. These stripes, because I do E28s, they actually came from a, a chap in um, Australia. And it was quite funny, I messaged him and said, oh, can I come and pick these stripes up? I want them done for an E23. He goes, dude, I, I'm based in Australia, so it's gonna be a little bit of a, of a long trek for you. So I measured the length of the car and he made them out. Um, I already had in my head what kind of color scheme I wanted to go for. Estrial blue and gold, you can't really, really kind of, kind of go wrong. So that's where the, um, the stripes came from. Um, the wheels, um, as you can kind of see, they're, they're, they're BBS wheels. They're actually two piece, which have been converted into a, a three piece wheel. And what I did, I then got uh, these done in gold. They look like a hex nut. So it looks like there's only one nut center lock holding that in. There's, there is actually five uh, bolts behind there. Um, one of the main things that no one does with these cars is, is, is big brakes. No one seems to do them. They come with four pots from the factory, but I wanted to go slightly different. So I commissioned a set of six spot brakes uh, up front with a 340 mil disc that runs on a floating disc. Doesn't need it, right? Because the car doesn't even go that quick, but it just looks nice when you look through the wheel. And then four pots on the, on the back there. And these are interesting, right? So these are for series one. So not, you know, not a lot of people will, will recognize those. Series one, the E23 is same with, came with the chrome mirrors. And I think because this car is chromed, I think it really set that off. So these windbreakers, as you may have noticed, they're, they're actually from, a, from an E9. I got them through from a company in the States called Island Engineering. Um, and I think they look good. I mean, you know, they're stuck on so they can either come off or they can stay on. But I wanted something which looked a little bit retro. And I think this really kind of, kind of pulls, it, pulls it off. So on the front, you'll notice that the beam and the fog lights are yellow. So they're like French headlights. Um, again, couldn't source any, so I used some Laminex film um, to put on there. My E28s all have original moonroofs. Couldn't find another moonroof, so the Saab roofs actually fit. Um, that's why it's got Saab written in here as opposed to BMW. But yeah, so this is what I kind of fitted in as well. Um, came with the roof anyway, but again, I just wanted to put my own stamp on the car and I thought, well, Hell, why not? We we'll stick a we we'll stick a moonroof on, and it is a trademark. I've stuck them on on, on all of my, uh, you know, E28. So uh, this this car wasn't going to go without, right? <laughs> car cannot be complete without a, uh, a louvre um, so yeah managed to source um, a replica louvre I couldn't find an original one didn't actually fit as well as I wanted it to um, obviously you know being able to kind of make things fit um, kind of dremeled it all down so we've got a perfect fit all the way around here so my dad gave me uh, a hand with that and again I think it really sets it off a little bit of a mission to clean the shisha underneath here so I'm looking in the rear view mirror I can see some dirt but you know getting under there, um, cleans it all up. But yeah, I like the loop. I think it's a really, really nice little touch. Eagle eyes ones uh, amongst you may have noticed, well, there's no boot lock. So the boot's actually on a, on a popper. But if that ever fails, you can take that BMW badge out and you'll still be able to open the boot. I couldn't source an original 735 badge for this car. So that's actually a later one. It's slightly italic. So I am on the, uh, on the lookout, on the prowl front. The ones I do find are all in pretty bad condition. So I don't want to stick a bad, uh, badge uh, on that car. Again, you've got the rear apron 
uh, on the bottom and the chrome on this car is really good I mean the bumpers and that you know they, they haven't they haven't rotted out and exhaust wise because the exhaust is new on this car I didn't want to fit an aftermarket exhaust so all I did was sleeve them because they, they did look a bit poony to kind of make the tailpipes have a little bit more uh, a little bit more of a of a visual aesthetic look on that um, it would have been sacrilege to get rid of the exhaust on this car you just ain't, just ain't going to find uh, another one so the heart of the car right so the early ones came, they were 733s, right? And then the later ones were 735s, the M30 B34 engine, which was what was in the E28 M535s. Man, this M30 lump, it's, I mean, you <laughs> look at it. I mean, it's, it, it's such a great looking, great looking lump, right? Um, I didn't do too much in here, actually, to be honest, but again, I wanted to put my touches on here. So I wanted a strut brace. Um, so I got the strut brace sorted out, bottle, Wherever I could buy a new bottle, I wanted to kind of get a new bottle. The bottom end was rebuilt. I mean, you can see all the brake lines are new on this car. Um, all the little uh, injector, little clips on here, they've all been done and anodized. You know, no one's really ever going to notice stuff like this, right? But me, I'm a bit of a magpie. I like shiny stuff. And when you point this out or people look and they point it out, um, that kind of shows you the, you know, the love which kind of goes into these uh, old cars. Um, I love it. It's, uh, it's a piece of art. When I, um, so when I received this car, this car actually had the, the wood trim on, but it wasn't in the best condition. It also had standard uh, seats in. They were electric, but they were non-sport seats. Um, it, and it had an original steering wheel uh, in this car as well, and a standard rear view mirror. So again, I wanted to kind of um, put a little bit more of a detail on here. And again, like I mentioned earlier, um, I like to keep everything the same, right? So hence the BBS steering wheel, and I wanted it, I wanted it to be wood to match the rest of the uh, rest of the wood. All this was then taken out and it was actually wrapped. Um, so there is wood behind it, but it, it had all gone, you know, it all seemed better days. I think the heat had kind of got to it. So, you know, I wanted the cuff to kind of match the collar. These seats are out of an E28 M5, all right? Because the E28 M5 came with electric sports seats. So what I had to do was buy the complete set. I only wanted the front seats, but the chap said you need to buy the whole lot. So I ended up buying all the, extended leather door cards but you know every cloud has a silver lining right so all those extended door cards <laughs> went into the white e28 m5 and these seats came in here and the headdress all right the headdress are from the e23 they didn't actually fit in here so we had to strip the headdress pieces from the sport seats and then get the cat ear ones on here as well so these buttons all the decals has faded so there's a chap on eBay who sells those. I had to do this a couple of times, man. It was so goddamn fiddly. But look, now you look at the buttons, even the ones here, because it's got memory seats, man. Who in a 40-year-old car has heated memory seats right? Like BMW do? So again, I've got all of these um, put, put in here uh, just to kind of freshen it all up. Um, and then the last thing, um, as I do in all of my cars, was fit a, a digital sound processor. I fitted an Alpine digital sound processor with an Alpine head unit. Um, in there as well and again that looks brilliant at night because you see all these kind of you know all lights very 80s driving along right seeing all these lights kind of flashing up again it just kind of goes with the era and the char characteristics of the car and the last thing was the phone right how can you not have a phone in a uh, in a 1980 car doesn't work i don't care it doesn't work it just looks absolutely <laughs> absolutely brilliant um so only only added that uh, recently but that's one of my uh, favorite little mods and people kind of ask what's your favorite mods in a car you know little things like this or even the air freshener right those are very very uh, you know very 80s I just think any general petrol head or even people who are not will appreciate um, a good looking car like this especially when there's a good looking sing driving it as well bro you know what I mean Yeah, so, um, yeah, I really wanted to finish this car um, for my mum. Mum passed away in, in December of, of this year. Um, and I think she wanted to see it finished. And I just kind of lost a little bit of, uh, a bit of love with it. Um, but I'm sure mum's kind of smiling and looking down and thinking, you know what, just as with all your other cars, um, you know, you've done this to, uh, to how you wanted to do it. And mum always kind of said, Key, you know, never kind of give up, you know, keep your faith and just kind of keep soldiering on. So. Hopefully, um, this is um, exactly what she wanted. Um, and I think she'll be proud of this car because uh, I am. <laughs>